Hey, this is Mike Rosica, Solid IRA. What I want to share with you today is a very important issue. Uh, this is a case study uh, that happened to me completely by accident. And it truly is how you can grow your IRA uh, in steps, in stages, asset by asset by asset by asset. So, in 2015, I'll actually show you the course. In 2015, I bought this course. Uh, it's called The Map to Your Gold Mine <laughs> with great intentions. My great intentions were I'm going to open up a trust inside of my self directed IRA, which will give me checkbook control. And I will start buying assets in this trust through my custodian and grow my IRA. I bought the, uh, the booklet, the course for 400 bucks or whatever. Uh, the guy that wrote the course is a good friend of mine. And uh, he said, hey, Mike, I see that you bought my course six months ago. Uh, how's it going? I said, well, you know, I haven't had time to uh, open up that trust yet. He's like, get it open. I'm telling you. Once you open it up, you'll focus on it and it will expand. So a year goes by and now it's 2016. Hey, Mike, how's that trust going? He knew I didn't open it. He knew that I didn't open it. I don't know how he knew because I would have called him if I opened it, uh, let him know how I was doing. I said, uh, Jack, you know, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything with it yet. I've got assets. Uh, turns out my custodian does not is not familiar with this process, and so they won't allow me to do it. He's like, "Well, you got to change custodians." I'm like, "I know, uh, but I've got assets in there that would have to be transferred over. Uh, it's uh, time consuming. I have to create assignments to get those assets out of my old custodian and into a new custodian. I actually have to find the new custodian." that will handle and allow me to own a trust inside my IRA. I said, it's, it's a big process. He says, don't give me that crap. I want you to open up this thing. Uh, in the meantime, I had scheduled for a note vision event in 2017 over here in town, where I was going to have 25 investors come and spend a week and talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, and do presentations. So I started calling around to different custodians. And I remembered um, a, a guy that I had met years ago, and uh, he opened up his own custodian uh, called Specialized Trust. And I, I gave Edwin a call and I said, hey, Edwin, I got this situation here. Uh, I can't find a custodian that will actually accept what I'm trying to accomplish. He said, send over what you're trying to do. I sent him over the right paperwork. His legal team looked it over and said, you change this one line to this and we'll be able to do it. I'm like, really? I said, okay. So off I go now. It's, it's the end of 2016. And I convert all of my assets over from my previous custodian to specialized trust. I get all the proper paperwork in order. And I have this trust opened one month before this event where my buddy Jack is coming to speak about opening a trust in the account. And so with that, I was so excited about this account. I said, you know what, Jack, give me a special price. I'll pay for every attendee that comes to this event, I will buy them your course. And so he says, yeah, you know, give me, uh, I don't know, 200, 250 bucks for each person. Uh, and I'll give them that, that set up that account and, and give them individual uh, consultation for each one of them if they want, or we can do a group call or however, uh, let's get this done. So I bought 24 of these programs. Uh, everyone got a free one. Jack came up to the event. Uh, he said, it's a good thing you opened up your trust before I got here or there would have been trouble. 
he was really, he was really concerned for my retirement. And uh, he knew that I would benefit from this uh, exponentially, but I just didn't know that. So I had Edwin Kelly come and speak at the event. Uh, there's a link below if you want to actually look at that presentation. Uh, we did manage to capture it. My son captured it um, spectacularly with audio and video. Uh, shooting that video in the dark was a challenge because it was a, you know, we used a uh, projector. And so off we go. I opened up this trust. I had $11,000 in cash, which I opened up my trust account at my local bank with my trustee at the time. And big deal. I had $11,000 in there, which is maybe two years worth of contributions that I had saved up. And so 11,000 goes into this checkbook trust and I buy two little notes in it, a $26,000 note, I believe, and a $30,000 non-performing residential junior lien. And I get in touch with the first borrower in Ypsilanti, Michigan, I believe. And she got with a program uh, with her church and her church made the donation and paid off her second mortgage uh, with a discounted payoff. I think I gave them a $5,000 discount and I ended up with maybe $31,000 in real money in my trust. So now I've got $31,000 in cash and this other non-performing note. So I get in touch with the second non-performing note and that borrower decided to, let's see with that one, I believe that they borrowed the money from their parents and we did another discounted payoff. Uh, that might've been around $18,000. So I've got 31 from the first one, 18 from this one. So I'm over $40,000. Uh, 45,000, I go out and buy three more notes. And of those three notes, one of them turns out to be a first mortgage, turns out to be, I paid $11,000 for this deal. And in a year, I turned that 11,000 into $111,000. It's a long story. It's a, for a video of its own. And 11 into 111 in less than a year, um, literally over eight months, uh, six months redemption in that state. Uh, we'll get into redemption uh, on future videos. Uh, you can actually go to noteconference.com if you're really interested in note investing. Uh, noteconference.com, put your name and email address in there. Poke around the different education programs uh, that we've created for you to uh, learn about the non-performing note business. If that's something you're so inclined to do, and now my IRA is up and running. Uh, I've got about 140000 in cash in my IRA. I go out and I buy six more notes. I add up all of the non-performing debt that is in this trust. Comes out to $860,000. Of These people owe me eight sixty. dollars how much of that will I collect? Well, that's the that's the that's the ten thousand dollar question, or the hundred thousand, or the million dollar question. How much of that eight sixty will I collect? Uh, a, a pretty good portion of it. Uh, I can promise you that. Uh, I know the business well. I buy good assets, and so in three years' time, because I know the exact dates, I open this thing in March. I had my event in May. I started working and adding notes into that fund uh, July and August of 2017. And uh, the last time I took a look at it was last year uh, with this 860,000. It may have grown now by the monthly payments that I've accumulated in there. But as of 2020, three years, uh, it was exactly three years when I took these calculations. I was at $860,000 worth of debt and cash. And I pulled money out when that $111,000 came in. 
through that sheriff's sale. So and I, I use that money uh, to live on. So that's the potential of a self-directed IRA growing tax-free, tax-deferred. That's one isolated case. That's just one case study that I can share with you. Uh, I'm very excited about this, uh, sharing that information with you because uh, it's a real eye-opener that if you work this thing just a little bit more than, than I don't know, I, I use it comparing it to sporting events. Uh, I was an avid sports enthusiast as a, as a young man. Uh, and I realized real quickly that these athletes were actually the stars in their own life. They were the heroes in their own movie, their life. And I was just a spectator in their movie. And I felt uncomfortable about that. I didn't like that. I wanted to be the star of my own movie. I wanted to be the hero of my own movie. And I wanted to be able to look back and say, wow, this is because of me that I have built something. And so I stopped watching so much sports and I started getting into how it was that I could actually be the star in my own movie and uh, make it sound conceited or something. I don't care. Uh, I am very uh, involved with my family. My family is very involved in our business. We are all in this uh, real estate investment business together. Uh, they will reap the benefits when I pass. And uh, I'm trying to build a legacy. I'm trying to build a legacy, not only for me and my immediate family, but for our nieces and nephews and cousins and anyone that is willing to put some work into this, uh, grow their IRAs. We are about to do an investment where we're combining. Uh, I think we've got five IRAs to do a real estate deal upstate New York. And uh, it's because of me sounding conceited or not, it's because of me that we have this deal in the works. This is a family office now. This is a, this is a legacy that we're building. This is, these are training wheels for letting these kids go uh, in the future. And if this is something that you would like to do and actually create your own legacy, uh, share this information out. Have meetings about it, have webinars, have conference calls, uh, create a website, create a YouTube channel, get this word out that, hey, you are directly responsible for the situation that you're in uh, now and in the future. And the future is your retirement account. You're using a self-directed IRA to build that retirement account. So be proactive. No one's going to do this for you. Uh, the hardest part of all of this is implementation. That's why we're here as a support group. And I want to be there for that support group. I want to help a million people build their own retirement account. I will lay on my deathbed very complacent and very happy that I at least tried to get to a million. Uh, what if I only hit a hundred thousand? That would be awesome. Uh, so be part of that 100,000, be proactive, get your self-directed IRA open, get, get involved, participate on the website, uh, leave some comments down below, get this word out, share it out. Uh, Solid IRA is here for you. Uh, again, if you're interested in learning about the note business, go to noteconference.com. You can go to my YouTube channel, Note Conference, N-O-T-E Conference, uh, all one word. Check out my videos on there. Uh, some of this material will cross back and forth between Solid IRA and Note Conference. And um, we'll see you on the other side. So thanks for checking this out. Hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on future videos.